Hello internet friends. In this video we are continuing to assemble the right elevator. I know it doesn't look like an elevator right now but I promise you it's going to be a well it kind of looks like an elevator. Look at that tip rib. Uh, that is definitely an elevator. It's kind of hard to tell if it's the right or the left because you can't tell that the trim tab is missing from uh, you know this angle of only three pieces being attached. But I promise you, it is a right elevator. Oh, and apparently I combined two days of video to make one uh, because what you're seeing here is I figured I would just start recording the setup and tear down of every day of work in the <laughs> in the garage so you can see you know pull the car out to make space so I can work and then when I'm done you know pull the car back in plug it in so it can charge and then uh, you know shut the garage blah 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 so yeah that's that's how I'm building this is uh, not a completely dedicated space but and now you can see pull the car out put the cooler there so I don't burn to death um, Try to, you know, construct some kind of airflow thing uh, using corrugated plastic lined cardboard, or maybe it's all PVC. It, I don't think it's cardboard. It's, I think it's all PVC. Anyway, uh, trying to direct the airflow so um, the evaporative cooler is actually effective. So, um, in the last video, I mentioned that in real time. Um, I had finished putting this together and I was working on the trim tab, actually trim tab on the left elevator. I was working on the trim tab and uh, I accidentally dimpled when I should have countersunk and then countersunk where I should have done nothing to assemble it and fortunately Vans got back to me and said everything's okay, it's all good, uh, it'll still work. So yay. That is complete, and in fact, uh, here's a sneak peek of the success. And this is also why I want to be in real time, so I can share these exciting things in real time. But so here's a sneak peek of what it looks like to have a completed trim tab, including electric servo. Look at this. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at that thing move. And then it's going to stop. And yeah, there we go. I built a moving aircraft part. I'm super stoked. Okay, back to assembling the right elevator. So, um, one other thing did occur to me uh, this morning while I was trying to contact Vans and other people to ask their opinion on uh, if my trim tab was okay or not. Uh, about a year ago, I started a Slack group um, for Vans Aircraft. Uh, if you don't know what Slack is, it's basically like a chat, uh, kind of like Discord, but more corporate-y. Anyway, they offer a free version that you can have like 10,000 messages. And I thought it'd be cool to have an instant message group for Vans, just for, you know, builders. Uh, that It's not the forums. The forums are designed to be permanent and, you know, people reply over time, over days or weeks, right? Slack is more instantaneous, like, hey, I got a question. Let's see if someone's gonna respond to me right now. Uh, so I, th I thought that would be cool and helpful. Uh, so I, I'm actually going, I, I should be promoting that every time. Uh, so more people join, because I don't know, maybe there's like 40 or 50 people in there and there's not a lot of activity, um, but there could be, it could be a cool thing. So I'm gonna promote it more. Uh, so I think every outro I'll remind people that, hey, you can join the Slack group and we can have real-time conversations on, oops, I screwed this up, or how do I unscrew this up? Pretty much that <laughs> it was my whole goal of creating that group. Uh, so I'm going to also put the URL in the comments so you can just click on it and sign up and join if you're interested and if you want to talk to people that are building airplanes. So this is uh, Elevators video 26 and tonight's work uh, that I just finished putting into iMovie is Elevators 36 so we have exactly 10 videos to go. 
until we're at real time. So uh, I'm going to keep doing this every day, even though it's kind of exhausting. But, you know, I put the work into it, so I'm going to keep doing it. And that that's how the plane gets built. <laughs> it's exhausting, and, you know, every hour that you put into building a tiny little part or riveting a thing or deburring, right, is an, another hour you're, you know, of progress that you've made, and eventually you end up with a thousand hours of something that looks like an airplane. Maybe it has an engine on it. That would be cool. And then it'd be even more cool if it had, like, avionics that were wired and turned on and stuff. So that's eventually my goal is to have all of that that can, you know, be airworthy. So hope everyone has a happy Friday tomorrow. Or wait, today's Friday. This video is coming out on Friday. I'm recording it Thursday night. Happy Friday. See you later.